Hello everyone, Gainer here from Property Made Simple and today in this video, I'm going to share with you guys three different types of floor plans that I will avoid if I'm going to invest in a property. Now before I actually jump into sharing with you guys these three different types of floor plans, I want you guys to understand a very important concept. Now analyzing and studying the layout floor plan of a property works exactly the same like how you're going to invest in a stock right because before you want to invest in a stock you really want to understand the fundamentals of that particular company now so analyzing the floor plan the layout is exactly the same how you analyze the fundamentals of a company right because at the end of the day you have to understand one very important thing is that when you want to resell or sell this in the more open market right the buyers will actually step into your house to go and feel the space the size the layout of that particular property that you own now if the layout doesn't really look good then you probably will, will, will miss a lot, quite a lot of buyers when they want to buy your property so this is something that is very important for you to take note and you should avoid right uh, investing in this type of layouts uh, if you want to look into property investment but before i actually jump into this floor place i also have to highlight one thing now whatever things that i'm going to share with you guys is just based on my personal opinion right of course at the end of the day you guys have your own preference of what type of layout that you want to invest then uh, but it's just my personal sharing with you so that you can actually uh, it will actually value add to you guys so that at least you will understand what type of uh, layouts you should avoid now without further ado let's jump into the first floor plan now the first floor plan that we want to avoid is having bedrooms that are just beside the main door entrance now at the end of the day we really have to understand one thing that before we want to invest in a property what we really want is that we want traditional layouts right so what do i mean by traditional layouts traditional layouts means the common things that buyers are looking at right so normally when you open up the main door entrance right what would you see so these are the few things that, that are the common ones that probably the first thing first is the kitchen the second thing is probably either you have a bomb shelter or a storeroom or a study room right or probably the third thing is that you might want to see the spaciousness of the living and the dining area right so these are the few very traditional or common things that a buyer wants to see and it's really not the other way around whereby when the buyer opens up the door what they really see the first thing first is the bedroom right which i think is quite unsightly right so this is a floor plan that i will personally avoid if i want to buy that particular property but then again i also have to let you guys understand one thing right currently in the market there are quite a lot of resale properties that also have bedrooms or master bedrooms that are just uh, beside the main door entrance and these floor plans or these type of properties are actually performing really very well in the resale market because there are buyers resale buyers who actually wants to buy this type of property and which i want to pull out one example to show to you guys why there is a difference so right now you 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 see this floor plan you will be able to see a difference right this size is actually quite big it's a two bedroom and is the size is around 1000 square feet so there is still a walking, a short walking distance between the main door entrance to the common room, right? To the master bedroom, right? The door, right? There's still a, sh a short walking distance. And also the fact that the, the, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen is quite big, right? And, and when a buyer actually walks inside these type of places, they actually will not feel that the whole place is actually very crammed uh, uh, side by side, which it will actually create a kind of you know a very narrow kind of feeling and also the master bedroom is actually in terms of space is quite big right now if you compare this layout to that layout that i showed to you now you can really see a huge difference because the main thing is when they open the main door entrance what you really see is a very small you really have a very small common room you have a small uh, 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 and a small area whereby when you open the door there's a small foyer and then it leads to a very tiny walkway towards the kitchen so these are things that you know make the whole place very crap right so that's why you can see these two different types of layout so this is the first layout that i personally will avoid now the second floor plan that i will avoid is bedrooms that are having odd shapes 
Now, this particular floor plan that I show to you right now is actually a two bedroom and one toilet and the size is 538 square feet. Now, thinking about 538 square feet is already very small, right? But then again, you look at the master bedroom. It actually has a curvy kind of window that surrounds the bedroom. And this type of floor plan or this type of layout is something that I would avoid. But, and the reason is because there's a huge wastage of space. Now, just imagine you try to put your tables, you try to put some furniture there, and at every corner, you really can't place anything because it's a window. And because after the window, it will be your curtains, right? So basically, you can't put much furniture in that area. So this creates a huge wastage of space. And this is something I would personally avoid. And I want to show to you something really very interesting as well. Now, this is actually the historical transacted prices. And there are two different categories. One is the profitable category and the other is the unprofitable category. Now, for the 538 square feet, there isn't any transaction at the profitable category. And in the unprofitable category, there's even one transaction. And so this means that this is really not a a popular layout that a lot of future resale buyers want to look at as well. So this is something that I would personally avoid. Now the third floor plan that I will avoid is master bedroom that is within sight the moment you enter the house. So just take a look at this floor plan. Now you can really see that the moment you open the main door entrance on your left hand side, right at the corner from a very small alley, you can really see the master bedroom just there. And to me, I think this is something really very weird, right? Because for master bedroom, that is the last thing you want to see the moment you enter your house. Because in order to reach to the master bedroom, you probably have to walk past the kitchen, the storeroom, the living, the dining area, and walk past a few common bedrooms before you finally reach the master bedroom. And for this instance, it's like, you know, you open the main door, Straight away, just on your left-hand side, a very small corner, you see the master bedroom. I think this is something really very weird and something that I will personally avoid. And this is actually proven because right now, you know, what you see right now is actually the past transactions history as well. And, and, when we, and you look at the unprofitable transaction, this size is actually a 700 square feet and it's a three bedroom. And straight away, you have really two transactions of the 700 square feet that is unprofitable. And in the profitable category, there's none at all. And these are telltale signs to already show that, you know, these type of floor plans are not something that is really very acceptable for the buyers as well. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially understanding the importance of analyzing the layout and floor plan of a particular property before you invest and try to avoid that three floor plans that I shared with you guys. Gainer from Property Made Simple, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos where I share a lot of property tips and strategies. Bye!